Now, a top data expert from the University of Kent says diabetes and obesity could be behind almost a million cases of cancer worldwide. Dr. James Bentham analysed the numbers for this study, which found that 800,000 new cancer cases in 2012 were caused by the combined effects of diabetes and being overweight. Well, Dr. Bentham joins me now to talk about the research. Well, thanks very much for joining us. So, first of all, how can you use data to come up with this kind of research? So what we've done is we've contacted all the people we can, so people like World Health Organization, national governments, but then retired professors with reports on their shelves to gather all this data together on uh, body weight, so obesity and diabetes. So we've spent several years collecting this, this data, um, which we then analysed to find out what trends are happening in the world with diabetes and BMI and then from there we can work out how many, um, new, how many new cases of cancer are happening um, each year. And what can you do with this research to, to try and help prevent uh, cancer in the future? Well we can look to see which cancers are particularly um, caused by obesity and uh, by diabetes. So it seems to be liver cancers, breast cancers for example. So we can use that information to put in place uh, services in hospitals, uh, governments can put in place screening programmes but also we want um, governments to try to reduce um, the amount of obesity and diabetes. And once you got into the, to the information what were some of the key findings? One of the key things is that um, overweight is now not just a problem in wealthy countries. So in um, middling countries like Egypt, like Mexico, this is an increasing problem. And in those countries, there aren't the healthcare resources um, to deal with this. But also relatively poor countries in Africa also starting to see quite um, large increases in diabetes. And how do we fare here in the UK? We aren't the worst. Um, the obesity is particularly high in Pacific Islands, particularly high in the USA, for example, but we're not doing particularly well either. Um, so there is a lot of work for us to do to try and get um, obesity levels down. And what's next now after this research? So, um, carry on. Um, we carry on collecting data. We carry on um, looking to see exactly what is going on. We want to track this over time. So we want to see if any of the things that governments are putting into place um, are having an effect on this, um, this problem, this real obesity epidemic. And are people listening to you? Are the governments listening? We think that um, governments are listening through WHO, um, they are listening. Whether they can actually do anything about this is another question. Um, this is a very difficult problem to tackle. So they're listening, but there's still a long way to go. That's brilliant. Well, thank you ever so much for coming in. Thank you.